Hello everyone, it's Sharon here. I have just finished a live over on Essential Stencils page showing you some fun stenciling projects including this crate that I created with their Stencil of the Month Club stencil. So I'm going to show you now here on my page, welcome, I restore stuff. Um, I'll show you some napkin decoupage with using this pretty fall leaf napkin. And I know we're in Australia, I'm in Australia, and it's not fall here. It's not even close to spring yet, but um, it will be soon. Just wanted to do that for some of my American people because um, we have about a half and half audience here on my page here at I Restore Stuff. About half of you American, half of you uh, have followed me over here from the Essential Stencil page, which is amazing. Thank you so much for following me here. And let's see, just trying to turn on my comments here so I can see you on my laptop as well. Um, and yeah, and then half of them are from Australia right here. So if you're from Australia, welcome. Uh, even though we're doing a fall project today, autumn for America, we are still, you can do a spring one. We are using napkins. You can use any napkins you want for this project. So I've just created this crate, like I said, over on Essential Stencils page. You'll see the whole live on how I did that over there. But I also did this cute little canvas, wooden framed canvas. I may even stain that outside. I feel like it needs to be some kind of darker color, but I showed you how to do this two tone blended look with stenciling. Um, there's my mom. Hi mom, how are you? Lots of hearts to you too. And uh, so thank you guys for watching. And I wanted to show you a little bit of napkin decoupage using, if you're in Australia, Artisan's Flat Matte Sealer can be used for napkin decoupage. It can be used for all sorts of things, including sealing your projects. So what I did, first of all, let me explain to you, this crate was just a plain like a yellowy pine, a raw pine. Look, what I've done is stained it using the brand new fusion color, Hazelwood. Have you tried that? It, this one is proving really popular in the USA. We've just got our brand new colors in here in Australia, 11 new colors from the fusion range. So this is Hazelwood. And let me show you what it actually looks like painted on a board. So that's the color. It's this beautiful, we haven't got any colors like that in the fusion range. So it's a really nice, would you call that taupe, grey? What would you call that colour? If you're in the USA, you can get that at um, your local fusion retailer or via the link of my Amazon shop. I might just pop that in here to let you know um, what that is in case you're in the USA and you wanted to jump over there and have a look. My uh, Amazon shop has got all sorts of fun ideas for stenciling, sign making, um, you know, tools I use for furniture painting, all of the things. So you can get that there. When you, oh, so what I did was I stained this using the Hazelwood color. So it gives it a bit of a gray wash color. Now, because that's dried, you're not gonna quite see the color um, in all its nice raw intensity. So when we add the flat matte sealer on, you will start to see that color come to life. So it'll all make sense. Hi guys. Hi Donna, yes, the napkin's cute, isn't it? So I've put some similar ones to this in my Amazon shop there you can have a look at. What I've done is I've cut this to the size that I need it. I'm gonna be putting it on the ends of my crate here. And I've started to cut this. What I should have done is just showed you uh, how to remove a ply. You just want the very top layer. Most napkins will come with you know, two or three ply and they come with these tissue backings. I think I've got my backing here. So that's the ply that I tore off the actual napkin itself. But I'll show you with this one. This is one you could do for spring. So if you're in Australia, get some spring napkins and you can do that one. So you can see it's got a very white back. So you just want the very top ply. So you grab that, oh, lucky me. You know, usually on a live, I'm kind of here forever just going, oh, where's the end? So I can see, I don't know if you can see that, there's actually two more white tissue plies and one colored, um, one with the pattern on it right there. So you very gently just pull that apart until you've just got that top layer of your napkin. Okay, because that's all you want is just this top layer here. So I've done that already with these autumn leaves and I've just cut it, cut the napkin. That's just one ply. See how it's very see-through there? Let's go this way. 
So you can see it's just about around about the size of the end of my crate where I'll be putting it on. I'm not worried about cutting out the holes yet. I do all that when it's finished. And then we're going to just add that on right here. So here we are. Fall is your favorite, Tina. That's awesome. Okay, I've got my uh, flat mat sealer here. I'll just try, try and point this down slightly so you can see my bench and where I'm working. I've just got a lid to transfer some of this flat sealer to. And we don't need a lot, so. <clears throat> Put my glasses on so I can see you all. Oh, look at this, my stencil brushes. I should have washed them out. Put them in the water there. That's what happens when you go from one to the other right away. All right, I've got my just a flat brush here. And what I want to do, instead of painting the, the sealer onto the napkin, I'm going to paint that straight up here onto the crate because I may need some more than that, actually. You want a thin layer, but you want enough so that it's not, there's no dried bits on it. And you work fairly fast. So let's work quickly because we don't want it to all dry out. And our sealer does dry fairly quickly. I'm gonna use all of this. I'll have to pour out some more for the next lot. Okay. Got that, got that. And just make sure you catch any drips. So you might get some drips onto the side. A nice thin layer. And then I'm just gonna add this napkin straight onto the top, like so. I would not worry. See, you know the edge of the napkin has those little bubbles and bumps on it. Whoops. Oh, guys. I think feeling like it was drying too quickly on me. <laughs> so you just rub it down there with your fingers. You can use some um, glad wrap, cling wrap, saran wrap if you like to just push that out. I feel like we do need a lot more on there. It hasn't quite... Um, stuck down all at the edges. So let me just lift that a little bit. Going around those edges. And you will find that it gets a little bit wrinkly, but that's okay. It's all part of that rustic look that we like with our farmhousey crates. I'll show you. If you've just joined me, thank you so much for watching. It's Sharon here from I Restore Stuff. You'll find all sorts of fun tutorials and tips on my blog, my YouTube channel. Um, I get lots of questions about painting furniture. So, hi, is it Tita Smith? Hi Sharon, first time catching you on your page. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining me here. So we're just decoupaging a napkin onto a crate. Now there's all sorts of methods for um, decoupaging napkins onto things, onto wood. You can also use, and I have done this before too, is using the napkins as a background for a signboard you might like to make. And I've done that using napkins also. Here's the handle for our crate. You can sort of see where it's coming in there. We're just rubbing that as much as we can, rubbing out as much, many wrinkles as you can. If you find that it, you've just got to be very gentle because if you find that it's tearing, um, you just need to just remember to push very gently and um, again like I said before some people will, will use a little bit of plastic or plastic wrap I forgot to get some so I don't have any on hand here here's an example here's a little plastic bag you can just rub that on because it slides and slips over whereas your finger your skin will tend to catch on the napkin so the plastic will will slide over whereas a your finger's skin will just catch on it all right, so there's that. We're going to let that dry. Let's just go over and do the other side while we're there. And this time I'm going to add a lot more of the sealer. So this is just using flat matte sealer from Artisan. If you're in Australia, you can get that from my shop. Oh, lots of people jumping over here from, the, um, from my live that I just did over at Essential Stencil. Thank you so much for joining me and learning how to decoupage with this napkin. This time I'm using extra. We just sometimes need to be a little bit extra, don't we? 
Whoa, big drips there. Oh my goodness. Um, I am going to seal this crate and you'll see the stencils really pop too once I put the sealer over those stencils that are on the side there. Hang tight and I'll show you those. Don't forget that if you are in the States, in the USA, the stencils, um, you can get that, use my code, I restore stuff and get 10% off any of your stencils. See, that's the cute little stencil look I've got on the side. All right, before that dries, let's grab that napkin. Again, the very top ply you've got on the napkins right there. The very top ply, rubbing it on, pushing it down. I'm going to use that plastic bag again. I'll tip these screws out of it. They belong to that canvas frame that I was working on. Pop my fingers inside the plastic bag and you can see how we can, you can just use cling wrap, like your plastic wrap that you use for food. And again, I've got lots on, on the box, but it feels like, you know those end grains of your wood there? It feels like it's not quite taking there to those, so might just have to go over those edges again and don't stress about the wrinkles because we want it to look all rustic and in the end when we've got it all done oh, so we've got my little bit of sandpaper when we get it all done we're going to be sanding off those edges So that, and you can even sand to distress the whole entire thing, you know, make it look quite rustic. Seeing that. So that's just using our Artisan Flat Matte Sealer. And once again, if you're in Australia, um, you can get that on my website, irisstorestuff.com. And if you're in the USA, you can use any sealer. Sorry, I'll grab your comments in a second and see if there's any questions, let me know. Yeah, the crate did come out really good, didn't it? Thank you. <coughs> Hi Dawn, thanks for watching, thanks for joining me here. Robbie says, have you tried the iron method? No, I haven't. I have yet to try the iron method. There are a few different methods of doing the napkin decoupage. So I am going to get this side right here. First of all, we need to make sure that all our Actually, I'll, I'll, while I've got this leftover sealer here, let me show you. Um, we will seal the inside of the crate, the outside, but I just wanted to see if you can see a little bit of a difference. See these little flaps hanging over here? Don't worry about that. They'll be gone when, we, when it's all dried. I'm just going to grab some sealer and go over the top there. So the flat matte sealer, it has a little bit of a white tinge to it. It dries absolutely clear. See if we can see the difference there now that I've sealed that top one. I'll leave the bottom one not sealed just to see if it does make a difference. You can kind of see in the light it's a bit shiny, but it does dry matte, quite matte, but it should make that pop out there. Let me get the dryer and I'll see if you've got any questions. Let me know. Now I can't remember which side I did first, but it doesn't matter. Um, Tina says, are you going to put the sealer on top of the napkin like you do Mod Podge? Yes. So at the end, once you've got it looking how you want it to look, so for example, if I want to distress it with a bit of sandpaper, uh, I do all that first and then seal it right at the end. It is a lovely napkin, isn't it? So if you can't see there, I am just drying that napkin off on the edge here. Okay, and I'll just dry this top off, see if you can see that matte sealer is really nice and it just gives it a lovely finished look to the wood, but it also brings out sort of the tones in the wood, the grain of the wood. And remember I've sealed that with hazel wood. We can't tell a lot on the video. The video's not the video's not showing you any difference there. So I'll just add that extra down to the bottom of that. We're sealing our crate, sealing the stencil. 
trying to show you that. Make a nice um, crate for treats. Now I've got a little bit of sealer there. All right, so I've dried this side. Haven't properly dried the other side yet. Let me just put the lids on these things. This side's fairly dry. So what I want to do is, and I haven't got my um, sandpaper here. Guys, it's badly organized. Let me just see if I can run. Can you bear with me? Running. Did you hear my husband? Hang on a second. Did you? Marty says, do you want me to fill in? That would have been funny. Okay, we're back. And I've got my little piece of sandpaper here. What I want to do now is just sand off these top edges. Now it may come through to the other side. Um, you know, you might see through the, it might distress the stain. That's what I'm trying to say, to get through to the raw pine. That's okay. I'm not too worried. See, that's where you can go rustic and make farmhouse stuff without being too particular and worrying about mistakes. So now that I've just sanded on that edge, that little piece of napkin should come through. Unless, of course, you've got some extra sealer that's dripped over the edge. That's why you probably don't want to do that. But that's okay. Oh, and see, that's just torn off on the edge there, but that's okay. We're getting a bit of a rustic look here. Going around the edge here, <clears throat> onto this side, and just sanding in those edges. So this one has got that uh, bit of a groove, divot, where where the join, I don't know, where the wood is separate. So you're just going around all of those edges and once you sand that, the napkin just kind of whoop, rubs off in the area. So see how it's nice and finished on the edge there. Now going over the base section of it. Super easy way to just add a bit of something to the end of a crate or a box. Sometimes I'll find these crates. I've Pretty sure I found this one in an op shop here in Australia, in Brisbane. Hi, Rosalind, how are you? Rosalind is from the Solomon Islands. I can't believe you're watching from the Solomons, girl. That is amazing. Thanks for joining me. Elizabeth's here. Bronwyn, hi. Okay, so see how we're just going around those edges? Now I can see that is where our handle is and I'm just going to poke that with my fingers right there. And before I get onto that end I'll just show you really quickly. So I'm just grabbing the sandpaper and you just go really gently along the edge there and you can see that that napkin just comes right away. All the way. Done. One more edge to go. And very important thing I just forgot to do is just to pop this brush in a either a plastic. Uh, you either put your brush in a piece of plastic or just wrap it in a wet cloth if you want to be using it again. So I'm going to be using that to. That's the brush that had my sealer on it so I'm going to be using that in just a minute to seal the napkin. I can still feel that it's not a hundred percent dry so you could wait for that to dry even more but because we're live we don't want to sit around and wait for that forever. Here's what it looked like before so we've got our napkin we've decoupaged we've popped it on there with the artisan's flat mat sealer do you like our cute stencils? If you've just joined me, I did that over on Essential Stencil Live. If you go to essentialstencil.com, you'll be able to see how I did that. 
and here is the napkin sanded off around the edges. Now I can do that just a little bit more. So you have sanded in there in the handle section. I could go over the edges just a bit more to give it, see how that one's tearing off right there. It's still a little bit wet or it didn't hit on the edge. So I could glue that bag down or hey, let's just go all out rustic and rip it right off. Really doesn't matter. And I like to get those corners. You could rough some more off the corners. I'm adding napkin to my sealer here. See how I've just torn a little bit more off the corners? You can do that. So make it as rustic as you'd like. The drier it is, the better though. So this is probably still a little bit wet to be sanding. And so we're getting big chunks off rather than just little dispersed edges. So I'm trying really careful to be quite gentle. This one, this edge has still not come off. Once that's completely dry, and I've just got the edge there that I've come a little bit off there. Okay, so here's our full crate looking really, really good. What would you fill it with? There, my mum's having a little conversation with her friend Ros from the Solomon Island. Both their names are Rosalind. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? All right, so we've got our crate there. We've got our, what would you fill it with? Some fall treats, some s'mores, um, some fun things. If it was spring napkin, you know, I said you could do this one for spring also. You could add those little napkin things to the side that decoupage it there and fill it with flowers or a beautiful spring um, herb box or all sorts of things. You can think of some amazing things you could do with that. Right, so my brush, all I'm gonna do now is to finish sealing that off. I could seal the inside. I won't bore you with all that now, but I will just go over the napkin and <clears throat> add a bit more sealer here to my container. So I can make sure that's nice and truly covered. And here it is at the top. So I've rustic to the <laughs> rustic. I've made those really rustic on the edges there. And then because the napkin is fairly, it's sort of transparent when you start to add the sealer, you will see if you've painted the background a different color and there's any white on the napkin. Whereas this, these fall leaves are quite, they're colored all the way through. They've got the green, they've got the reds. Whereas the spring one has that section of white in it. So if you had a different color underneath, that white would look translucent and you'd be able to see the color tones of whatever you paint the crate. So you wouldn't have to necessarily do a stained crate. You could actually do a, you know, a full coverage of a paint color and I've done that before is just matched it with some of the colors in the napkin and it turns out lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off now after I've finished our live. Just wanted to show you how you could just, so you can see it's still drying. So it's a bit shiny, but it will dry to a nice flat finish. And then we have a lovely fall box. This is the side, which side did I? Yeah, so I haven't sealed this side yet. I've sealed that with the sealer and I've yet to just sand off these edges here. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> and Brenda's watching, Bonnie's there. So there's our finished napkin decoupage on that end. And I'll go and finish this, take some pictures. I'll pop it up on my page. But if you're wanting to get those stencils, these are the ones from the Essential Stencils Stencil of the Month Club. And you can join that for 50% off your first month if you use my code iRestoreStuff. So, hi Melanie, that's okay, you can catch the replay. I was just showing you how to uh, decoupage with napkins if you've just missed that. I'm just gonna poke my finger through the handle there and then we sand around the edges and then it comes out nicely just like this for a gorgeous finish and a great fall crate, autumn crate that you can put lots of fun and lovely goodies in. Well guys, that's it for today. I've been live over on Essential Stencils page so you can go check out my live over there on how I stenciled this and my other fun sign here. We did some blending. We did some blending for backgrounds using the yellow and the mustard color there. 
Um, <clears throat> and until next time, I'll either see you over there or live on my page here. Thanks so much for following me. I'd love it if you followed my page here and uh, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, any of the places. Catch you later. Bye.